We're going down that monkey right there. <laughs> Alright, what are we doing today, son of Jim? You better know. We're going down to Shaft. We're looking for gold. What else do you think I do? You're going to go down there with me. Mm -hmm. So you know what I'm going to say. So come on. Let's, Let's go. go! $10 of gold. Yeah. I counted it as it went in. Yeah. You know, I've never actually been down that. This disc yep. right here is at the I'm moment. Not, I've not run down there. Oh, yeah, it's got a little depth to it. You found a soulmate. There's a little yeah. hatch <laughs> cover. Yeah. No, I mean. Alright, off ladder. The spot he's going to is right at the back. I don't know if you want to go up there. Juicy. You look juicy. Look at you. Oh, look at that fracture. <laughs> it's scary up in there. Oh, it's, 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 it's so juicy. Look at that. Oh, it's so dang soft. Okay, over here. Now I'm going to teach you a secret also. Because yeah. you can use black lights in here to help determine where certain country rock stops and where certain loads start. Okay, yeah. Okay. Where else? Where else? You guys are going this way, huh? Ooh, look at that beautiful copper steel. You're going this way. Tell you what, they got me digging, digging deep, boy. And look at this, I got this beautiful, it looks like a bug, don't it? See the copper staining and all the oxides along the contact zone. And look at their solidification here. Oh, I'm gonna get some of that shiny, you know it. Oh, but leave me alone, I got work to do. You heard me, now get out of here. All right, all right, I know you wanna hear it, so come on, let's go. We spent quite a bit of time down in uh, Delamar. Oh, I've seen your pictures. Man. You just let me get it look easy. Uh, look at this. Look at these original pick marks. See that? From the late 1800s. All through this. This has all been hydrothermally altered. And look at these stoles. That's the only thing keeping me alive, son of Jim. Is these stoles in here. I gotta get down to the lower level. Because you know I don't rest till I get to the bottom. Alright, so you know what I'm going to say, but I ain't going to say it because I'm getting tired of hearing it. But I'll say it anyway. So come on. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. What else is it? I'll tell you what, put it down there. You've got plenty of height. I agree with you 100%. I'm going to be here. Good. Okay. Oh, shovels. I like that. Oh, I got an old time shovel. Look at that. Yeah. That thing's seen a lot of use. Oh, the lagging looks fantastic. Now, you made the ladder down below. You notched that? Yeah. That's a good looking ladder. Thank you very much. That's what I'm talking about. It would be even better if someone hadn't dropped a massive... Ah. <laughs> but a bit of sticky tape and some wire, you can fix anything. Ooh, got some stopage down here too, look at that. Here's that ore pass. 
Tasty! This is why it's so dangerous in mine, boy! See that? You shit! You come in here with a candle and a 12 pack of beer, and guess what? That's right, you're not ever coming out because you're gonna stay down here, boy. That's where you belong. If you come in here with that, you gotta be fully geared up. Alright, let's take a look at these stoves, because I'll tell you what, they don't make big holes unless they're finding something. See that stove down there? Yeah, some, some monker brought in a beer bottle. What is that all about? That's a good looking stove. And why did they do that? I'll show you why. Right here. See that? Doesn't that look good? Oh yeah. That's some that good stuff. It's right up along this, see this? You can see right there, there's the hanging wall and there's the altered fractured country rock right there. And this right here is what they were going after. Ooh, that's some good looking stuff too. I'm gonna have to sample that. Okay. There's a bottle of beer waiting for you as well. <laughs> Might be a bit dry. Do you like dry beer? Uh, sometimes. Good. Oh yeah, look at this. This is nice down here. I can live down here. Ooh, and kerosene cans. Oh, I got another ore chute. Look at that. That's a good looking ore chute. That means they're finding good ore. They don't make ore chutes without finding good ore. Look at that. Ooh, I'm going to be sampling this all day long. Woo, now leave me be, I gotta work down here, boy! In the bucket, Jeff. Yeah. Gotcha. There's no old tarp or something. Alright, if you're gonna mine with me, come on down here, boy. I'm gonna show you what to look for. Stop fooling. Oh, I can see right through. Can you? Yeah. Alright, take a look at this, boy. You see what I'm pointing at? Do you see it? That's what happens when snakes fall down mine shafts and can't get out. They turn into prehistoric snakes. He'll probably be down here for another million years. See that? There's his head and there's his tail. I don't see any rattles on him. So I don't know how the heck he made it this far. But enough of that. Come here. I'm going to show you what we're talking about. All right. I'm inside of a stoke, obviously. And this is a gold mine. And what did I tell you? Told you to look for reds and blacks. Like that. And this is all looking good. We're gonna sample the heck out of that. Right there. See all that lime and I in there? Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> Just like mama used to make. Alright. Give me a nice healthy dose of it. <clears throat> Alright, now this this orange material I don't care much for. It's this earthy browns and reds that I care a lot about. So we'll get that one, see that? See it? And we'll sample that. Alright, we got work to do, so come on, son of Jim. I'm gonna sample my booty off. Now, over here I got an ore chute. Now this ain't no slip and slide. What they do is they come over here, they work in a scope or cavity. They probably bring their wheelbarrows where you're standing. And down it goes, just like that. This marker fills up. And they got a little gate right here where my foot is. You see that? And then the ore cart's down at the bottom. They open that up and slides out. It's real obvious. You see one of these feeding in, you know you're on a main level. It tells me there's a main level down there. And look at the construction of this. You don't see that anymore. Today they build stuff and only lasts for about five minutes. All right. We're going to get on back in here and take a look around. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? You better. Probably get tired of me saying it, but I'll say it anyway. So come on, let's go. I'm not even going to waste my time sampling on that bunker. Nope. All okay. right. Go to the main shaft and do some more sampling. Here we go. All right. So what do we got here? Come here, look at this. Uh, all right, so what do I got here? Well, this is an ore pass. This goes up to the next level. You can see that. I don't know if you can see that. And then at the top, this is where they were working. They dump it down here, 
cart it down to that chute, and then cart it off to the main shaft. Now, I want you to look right where my light's shining. See that? That's a Prince Albert can, fully intact. And you can see all the blast holes in here, too. I got one there, 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 one behind you. So they were coming up following this, the angle of this dip. Obviously, it didn't play out, and they just used it as an ore pass, so... All right, well, let's get on back to the main shaft. See this big old honk chunk of rock right here that fell off? Look at that. Looks like it goes on back in there. Looks like it goes on back in there. Let's go take a look. Uh, uh, ain't nothing back there. But you gotta check everything. Uh. All right, let's get on back to the shaft, shall we? Because I gotta go down the lowest levels and sample. So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? You better, so come on. Let's go. Slip and slide action. Uh, here we go. Uh, look at me, I'm a piece of gold ore. Uh, uh, I don't want to leave no stone unturned. It don't look like much of a pocket though. There's your color, that must look better. Yeah, Alright, I got a winds in the floor, you see it? Ooh, you're lucky I can't come up there and shake my fist. Alright, I got a roller right here, see that roller? That way they had a cable, probably they had the sheave wheel up on top. And then the cable would roll on that. And the reason why they did this is I got a seam here, running at a 45 degree dip. You see it all along here, especially right there, as a matter of fact. Right here's a nice spot, I'm going to sample him. Well, the rock looks terrible down here. There ain't nothing down here, no wonder they stopped. Look, well, I got dead mouses everywhere down here. <laughs> All right, you can see right here that the mineralization pinches right here and stops completely. That's why they stopped completely. Of course, they went another 15 feet just to make sure. Well, yeah, this is it. I'm gonna sample that. See if I can get anything out of this monker. Yeah. You never know where that gold's gonna hide. I've never seen so many dead mice in one mine. You can see where they had the timbers. One just sat in that pocket. Yeah. That's where my shadow is there. Another one in a pocket right, right there, there. Yeah. comes straight across to us. Yeah. 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 You see the pick marks. Right. If you go left, it starts turning kind of red. Yeah. Mr. Mustache. <laughs> <laughs> now you're sounding like our friend Ken, who thinks he can speak English. <laughs> mm. Dynamite paper that they pack it in? Or all right, now I gotta get out of here because I got done sampling and I need to find out what's in my sample bucket. So look at these ladders, see this? Ooh, isn't this pretty? This is a good looking ladder, see that? All right, on these ladders, I wanna show you this real quick because a lot of people out there don't understand this, but 
See how the old timers notch this? They got a notch, it's called a lap joint, and they're super strong. You got three nails in there, two on the inside, one on the outside. See how they notched it? Now, if you don't want to notch it, you can put just a piece of wood there in between the two to strengthen it. Look at that, I got a can of grease in case I want to go sliding around down here. <laughs> All right, so I got to get up this horseshoe so I can get out. But I ain't going to take no sissy ladder. Oh, no. I'm going to do it the way it should be done. I'm going to do it on my back. <laughs> you better get on up here. Right above you. There you go. Good job. You, you haven't put them back down there, have you? No. <laughs> I've been down there once to get them for you. Uh, I know, right? But if you're going to keep doing it, then... Uh, I'm just going to keep throwing them down there, because that's what I like doing. Oh, finally I see some hanging bolts here for these framework. I haven't seen any of these the whole way down. I went down there once to get the, um, the lizards. Uh, they went down there again to get the goggles. Oh both God. times I caught my back on that same thing. Oh, yeah. Both times. Oh well, yeah, you can see all the tight well, fittings. And I've just got to learn when my back Hanging bolts. Every time. That's a good looking line. Look at how they cut this clean. This is nice. Oh yeah, you see where it's... Ooh, look at all the bugs down here. <laughs> you got some giant bugs down there. Tasty mockers. I like that. Yeah, cook a few of those up. I still don't. <laughs> look, it's, imagine artifacts you're going to find in here. Wow, look at that. That's a lot of mucking right there. Look at all that shale. Oh yeah, there's the vein they're chasing down here on the bottom. That's nice, I like that. That's a good looking ladder. Alright, pull me up, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> what? You mean I gotta walk up the top, climb that ladder? Okay. Oh, they got shovels down here too. Look at all these bugs down here. So you see the level of the dirt on your right hand side? Yeah. That was the level we, we had to start digging from. That's a lot of mucking. And all the timbers had completely rotted away under there, that last set. Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll get those replaced when we uh, exactly. work our way down there. Oh man, those are big. And then we're gonna follow those tracks out. That's cool. I'll They're like heading the straight round to where you just been on the other on the um, other part. This timber, man, this is some good solid timber. I like that. Keep an eye on those rungs. Well, uh, yeah, see, there's another hanging bolt right there. And there's one right there. See that hanging bolt? That's a hanging bolt right there. And they put those together and it holds this set together. And they just bolt the sets together. And there's my compressed air and water pipe right there. Man, this thing is looking good. Like and, ooh, there's a dead mouse right there. And I got my goggles back. All right, I'm going to get on up to the top. Because i got to see how much gold it is. Ooh, I got a hundred feet to go. So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? <laughs> so come on! Let's go! That's better. <laughs> <laughs> Two square sets long. Wow. So what's that, 12 foot, isn't it? Yeah. 12 foot plank. Matt, that costs money. I don't know where they would have had to bring it in, Utah. I uh, brought it in a toner path and then ship it out here. Yeah, no, but I mean, where did it come from? Oh, I don't know. Because right? if not Nevada, it's probably, <laughs> yeah. probably, probably Utah, isn't yep. it? Yep, a lot of lumber out there. Uh, and it's all done, that would have been brought in by horse. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's just amazing, fantastic. So. Right, okay.
Uh, uh. Alright, now we're gonna go sample those buckets, the sample sample buckets. Find out if there's any gold in there, because that's what this is all about. Come on, you know that. Ooh. Oh, that's a good one too. Uh. Woo-wee! But don't you try this at home. I don't want to hear nobody doing that. You hear what I say, boy? So you know what I'm going to say, huh? <laughs> it's all ours, Blondie! So come on! Let's go! Twelve inch lid? Or charcoal? About 25 minutes, we'll have pizza. We finished the pizza right now. As you can see, a little bit of chicken, some cheese. All it is is uh, tomato paste with a little bit of oregano and uh, garlic in it. And it's Pillsbury pizza crust. Couldn't be simpler to make this if you're out camping. Just you need a skillet and a lid. Beautiful fresh pizza. Peach cobbler. It's a couple cans of peaches, some pineapple, mandarin oranges. Of course, then we use some Pillsbury uh, cinnamon rolls on top. Heat all that up, and then as soon as it's done, we go ahead and put a little bit of frosting on top, and you've got some of the best peach cobbler you'll ever have. I'll be reminded different. <laughs> Ooh, come here, son. Take a look at this. I need tires, and this is where I had to go get it. You better get in here, son. Ooh, who do I got here? I got Burgess, she and Dave are out the top, and I, and I got Raymond over here. They helped me out when I was in need because I blew a tire doing silly things. Yeah. Anyway, if you're in Tonopah and you need some work done on your car, even on weekends when nobody's open, you come in and you see these two guys right here. I guarantee they're going to take care of you. Do you listen to me, son? All right, so you guys know what I'm going to say, huh? So come on. Let's go! go.